Alright, this is going to be the first episode of Puzzle Time, and we've got the what is formerly known as the Samurai Puzzle, based on the piece of paper that came inside the box, but I'm going to refer to as the Ball and Chain and Moose Hat Puzzle, because this looks like a moose with a hat on it. So we're going to try to solve it, I guess. Let's, let's puzzle. Alright, so the ultimate goal with this thing is to get this chain with the ball on it off and totally separate from this whole metal assembly. So like I said, I do have the piece of paper that came with this puzzle. So absolute worst case scenario, we sneak a little peek at that piece of paper and we're gonna get this thing solved one way or another. So I think the logical place to start is actually going for what seems obvious. So I'm just gonna try to start looping, looping stuff and see what happens. Because usually the solutions to these things are not obvious, but how are you gonna know what's not obvious if you don't try the obvious stuff first? So I'm just trying to loop around the entire body, which does nothing. Um, and I don't think that you can get chain to slip through these. No, it's just too tight there to be able to slip the chain through. Hmm. Okay. I feel like I'm just trying the same thing. Again. Um, let's try to start pulling the chain through stuff. See, the thing that worries me is making this a bigger mess than what it started and then you have to undo everything you've already done as half of the challenge. So let's see if that did anything. Oh no. Oh yeah, if we can pull this around. What did that do? Ooh, okay. So we've got a bit of bit of a problem here. <laughs> We've got like some nodding happening with the chain here. Oh no, we can go back around. Let's try that. And yes, yeah, so you can see it's kind of nodding itself around that metal piece there. Not not ideal, not what you want to happen. Not, not what you want to happen is a not. See, this is already what I was afraid of now. Just to try to solve the puzzle, I have to get this undone first. So I just invented a new puzzle for myself. Okay, I think we can get that if we just carry the loop all the way around. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, same, same problem. Except it must be backwards now because I did something. I put it around, it must have done something. See, I'm stretching that whole loop around the entire assembly. And it's still knotted, okay. First time, so. Originally what I did is I put the chain through here and it came out here and that's gotten the chain stuck in kind of this middle bar area and it's getting hooked under here. So we're gonna try to get that off now. Okay, so you can kind of see what's happened here is here's the end where the chain is supposed to be. And I've looped through this hole in the side but the chain comes up and over this bar. So ultimately, no matter what, it's through this hole and stuck around that bar. So that's what I'm trying to undo. Oh my God, this has quickly become not the puzzle solving video I imagined it would be. I was ready to show you how big my brain is, but I am 
quickly small braining. Okay, it's been like 10 minutes and this chain is still stuck through this hole and it's intermingled itself somehow into the rest of these metal pieces and I cannot get this back to the way that it was before. I'm gonna give this like 10 more minutes before I have to resort to other measures of getting this thing apart. I just did the same thing two times in a row and it didn't do anything. <sighs> Third time is the charm. Looping chain over everything. <sighs> same place. Same place, same place, same place. How are we gonna get that off of there? How do we get it on there? That's a better question. Ah, okay. We got it back to original state. I actually went back and watched the butchery that I just did and tried to reverse um, the process. Basically, when I looped it through here and put it around, that kind of caused a little knot and the only way to undo it was back through, back around. And now we've solved puzzle one, which was not really a puzzle, but more of a problem. Now, let's go attempt number two and try to make no more knots. Oh, did, oh, <laughs> okay. A little too, a little too overexcited there. I thought maybe that was gonna come right off. Um. Did that get us back to this issue? No, 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 no. Okay, we're back at the beginning. <laughs> um, okay, we gotta start trying something here. This is where I went last time, was through this side piece. But I went from the other direction, so let's try this. Through the side piece and the end. And over. I know one of these times I'm gonna loop the entire chain around and it's just gonna fall out. Oh, it doesn't even reach if I have it looped around that second piece. Hmm. Go through all the pieces. Okay, I have an idea. We'll go through. Holy moly, this is good for Someone with smaller fingers, and I don't even have big fingers. Okay, we went through one entire half, and now we'll try to loop it all the way around, and maybe it'll come out the other side, and then we'll go through that half, and maybe it'll come off. Okay, come on now. Oh, it doesn't reach around there either. You can see I'm got this all as far as it can go, but I cannot pull the chain over the corner. Uh, come back through. Yeah, same place. Okay. Oh, this is similar to the last problem we had where it's still looped through the main bottom ring, but now it's also looped inside of the body. Huh. Maybe we have to go out the other side now. Because we went in and around here. Let's try to repeat our steps backwards. Oh. And we're back to the start. Okay, we are back to the start. Okay. Alright, I do not want to disappoint. I'm going to figure out how to do this.
All right, I think I've just had a stroke of genius and maybe now I'll know what to do. So. Wait, I swear I did this. Going through the middle hooks. Well, not really hooks, uh, circles of metal. And we go through all of them. And then we come around that, and then we just let go, and it should be. Yeah, okay, we had this. This does not look like the picture. All right. After I do that move that I just did, I'm supposed to be step three with the chain just hanging on to the outside of that piece. Tell me why it still looks like this. Did I go do it wrong? Did I do something wrong? Do I gotta undo that and go back? All right, I don't even know if this makes sense, but the only thing I'm seeing different is instead of being looped over the bottom of this, it's looped around the top and it can't spin around because these gaps aren't big enough. So. I don't know if that's what's supposed to happen, but let's try, let's assume we're on step three. And then I just repeat the same thing, so. Is this where we're supposed to be? Do I have to loop around or something? Like, are they like hiding a step from me that I'm supposed to know how to do, but don't? Okay, I mean, I kind of see where the ball comes into play because if I could push it between these two bars, I think that would undo the loop. Oh, can I? No, that's not supposed to go through there. Oh, geez. Um, yeah, this does not look like the picture. Step three, that looks like a chain free on the bar and I am still in a loopy mess. Hmm. Okay, so you see the difference. I got it back to where it was originally. See how now it's looped on the outside instead of just looped around there? So I think I must have done this wrong. Let me try this one more time. And let me make sure that I'm doing exactly what the picture says to the ball. I do as the picture guides. And now I'm pulling this around. Yep, they put it over top of there. And then come back through. Is that what's supposed to happen? No. <sighs> like, is there a hidden step? Am I supposed to do something that isn't in the picture? Like loop it around after? There's no way. Okay, look at this. So based on this, you're supposed to loop around the middle bar and then somehow the chain is not looped around that middle bar. If you do this, the chain is gonna be around that bar. This doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Guess where we are, back at the beginning. All right, this is episode one of Puzzle Time. We've resorted to using pieces of paper and we're still not having a puzzly good time. I think, I think I'm ready to accept defeat. All right, all I'm saying is that Based on this picture, this is impossible. So look at the way that this is hooked around the front of the loop and the back of the loop. So how, tell me, if you run both of these pieces through all these holes and over this middle loop, okay, follow me, it's gonna pull back through, through, it's gonna be here and it's gonna be looped around this middle bar and then 
no matter what, since this middle bar is in between this outer section, there is no way you're going to get to this state. There's no way. There's no way. I think that's the puzzle. I solved it. I solved the puzzle. No, but in all seriousness, I'll take the take the owl on this one. Maybe I'll revisit this in another video, but until then, maybe I'll just roll the uncut footage of my cat playing with this thing to hopefully ease everybody's uh, pain and suffering, because I, I know you're feeling it along with me. So uh, here's that, and thanks for, for suffering. Bye-bye.